Happy National Flashlight Day. That is on the... Wow, okay, 21st? 21st, yes. 21st. Yes, 21st. Because 22nd. I'm thinking 22nd because that's my mom's birthday. <laughs> um, whether you're partying with a work light, like I do sometimes. Except I don't like my work lights. Because they're not waterproof or drop proof. So I don't know why they call them work lights. Uh, now we got flashlights like this. Tripod flashlights. You know, each and every one has their own AAA in it. So you can... Okay. And it has a built-in magnet. So you can turn one on, turn two on, you can turn three on. You do uh, multi-flash. Or you can just have something to spotlight you. Oh my god, purple station. Hmm? Everything flash tank. This is actually a nice flash on. Runs off. I think each each cylinder has six triple A's, I believe, or four, or five, you know. Uh, some people might be rocking their favorite double A flashlight, like my favorite double A flashlight, which I just get this over with. Check the battery on it. I haven't checked the batteries in this in a while. They look good, they look good. The metal sounds good, you know. Doesn't sound squeaky. Favorite double A right here. Yeah. You got blood tracking, UV, and red light, which I actually use on several occasions. Um Especially when I'm working on room clearing, or not room clearing, um, <coughs> my home defense. Sorry, I'm not sick this time. <coughs> Sorry, I swear I heard someone knocking. Sorry, uh, <coughs> I'm coughing. Um, yeah. You know, some of us are kind of fancy and have O lights. I have the original O light arc field here. Little charge. I got the Pro, same color. Uh, I like this better than a sticker. Just a uh, FYI O light. Um, I like it laser to engrave or whatever it is. Um, I've been rocking my two O lines because, you know, why not? I mean, I even rocked red velvet over here. Uh, she's kind of an old, old light. I'm so sorry, red velvet. She's an old mag light that I trans that um, I have upgraded to LED. Not the best LED, but yeah, she gets the job done. You know, don't need nothing that bright. Or if you do, you know, get something like this from Lowe's, pretty good. No. Lux Pro LP eleven hundred right there. Uh, don't go on Amazon by these. Uh, Amazon overprices them. Go to Lowe's and get them for like thirteen bucks probably. Amazon's like fifteen, sixteen dollars. Uh, you know, here's my 
my my most and best flashlights I have is Maglite, just to be honest. So I have this bright LED. Uh, the the lens on here is not original. I took the nice clean lens and put it on red red velvet, so it looks cracked and stuff. Uh, this is actually was my security flashlight when I did security for um, Patel Center. I uh, volunteer security work uh, at Patel Center to on uh, a Halloween. It was that haunted house. Um, yeah, I did security there. I actually have proof right there. Sorry, white brow. Right there is a dent, a chunk missing from her. Uh, two chunks. But yeah, dropped her right on asphalt. Asphalt, that's why I dropped her up on. And she still works. My no one really knows this, but I named her uh, Night Queen. <laughs> also, Night Diva, because <laughs> I don't know why I just thought that was funny. Already, right, you know, we're partying with Punisher. Um, this is the current line of Megalite. Dropped it. Been trying to keep the paint on there. And the paint stays on there pretty well. Um, I have dropped this. And uh, it still works. It has four modes. So you got home, you got camping, police, and military. I have it on police, so I can do this. See, my finger is still on the thing and let go. If I double click it, I take my finger off. There we go. If I triple click it, well, I couldn't say that. Triple click it, uh, it turns to low mode, which lasts up to, what they, I think they said up to four days. Uh, with good quality batteries, they said up to two weeks, um, which I have quality batteries in here. Um, Duracell is the way. Um, that's just my opinion. Dur Duracell has been what we use in the families. Well, recently it's been Duracell and Energizer. Uh, yeah. I actually have a. I will show you the best energizer battery because um, like Duracell, sorry, like Duracell, it's alkaline, right? Yeah, it's alkaline. But energizer over here, these Max ones. Let's see here, they are. Oh, he's got a phone too. I guess it's not the Energizer one. Energizer doesn't have these lithium ion ones, which fantastic for the cold. If anybody, because alkaline drains faster in the cold. Lithium ion, it has to be negative, negative, something negative under a hundred. It has to be like negative. Like a five hundred, I think, or something like that. It has to be super cold. That's how I should say. It has to be so cold that once you step out, you freeze. You turn into an ice block. It has to be that cold. Alkaline, anything below zero, it will not work. Um, sorry, anything below freezing temperatures. Listen, my on actually loses power very slowly and freeze the temperatures but doesn't automatically die like our client would um now there has been theories that uh aircraft aluminum which why well, i got this one uh and this one 
because there's been some theories that aircraft aluminum helps the alkaline battery, non-rechargeable flash, non-rechargeable battery uh, lasts longer in the cold. Uh, I don't know if that's scientific proven or not. Um, that's just something I seen. I just heard, you know, not seen. I heard rumors about. Um, and I've been waiting for it to freaking snow so I think it gets below zero to try it out. Um, I know I can do it the old way, like stick it in the freezer for an hour and let's see if it works. But um, I, I just not, I, it weirds me out to put stuff like that in the fridge. It makes me feel weird. <laughs> Uh, I do know these battery any tool battery man if you can get a bunch of those stockpiles of them a bunch of chargers with a bunch of tool lights not works but a bunch of tool lights um, those are what you want to stockpile um, because yeah those instead of getting cold over time they're going to get warm over time so basically um and freezing instead of overheating it's just gonna stay normal <laughs> so yeah um but yeah uh, like i said i do like mag lights i do like o lights i do like stream fire uh is that what it's called St St steam fire stream uh oh. I love a lot. I actually love. I don't really have a favorite mag light. I mean, a favorite flashlight. Um, I mean, I do have a favorite flashlight. It's just I don't have a favorite brand. Um, the only reason why this is my favorite is because uh, I bought her at a um, flea market for like two dollars. Um, completely corroded inside. I took her completely apart. Uh, you can tell you the switch could be used, swapped out again. Um, had this flashlight before and took the lens, put that on there, put an LED bulb on here, put new O rings on her. Um, I actually sometimes, you can tell, not squeaky. I keep that. I put a little bit um, of Vaseline on there. Um, and don't use WD-40 because it will eat the, um, it will it will literally eat the rubber gasket. Um, learned that the hard way. Um, Vaseline seems like the way. Except the last time I put Vaseline on, on here was 2016, and I don't own Vaseline anymore. Um, So yeah, um, yeah, but yeah, this still sounds squeaky. It just doesn't get the Vaseline smell, which I'm happy for, because oh my god, it, it was kind of annoying. <laughs> See, like I even have a cold bolt flashlight, and it's two modes on there, high and low, and uh, headlights, all kinds of flashlights. Don't know where the mall are, no, but can I find them when I need them? Yes. That's literally how it works. Can't find them when I don't need them. But when I do need them, I can find all of them. Um, I do like to. I love Costco. You can get bulk and batteries. You can tell these have not been opened with the amount of dust that's on it. I really need to dust my room. Holy shit. I, uh, <laughs> been busy packing. Um, yeah. But, I even got these cheap flashlights. This one's a shotgun gel. That's me. Not that bright, to be honest. But love it. It's like my shotgun shelf knife, you know. 
not really meant for use and has no lock at all but more of a display thing um, if you're interested in this knife right here this Winchester shotgun shell we'll put the knife away uh, Winchester shotgun shell go on blade HQ look up um, shotgun shell flashlight I believe that's what you want to type in don't type in Winchester uh, or come up as we can't find it <laughs> Oh, if you know that, don't you, you know? Uh, Wiener Warrior. Um, I see no practical use on here, so it's just a show knife. I mean, I do use my donut one. This is about flashlights. Yeah, flashlights. Uh, um, the only flashlight I hate is tablets and your phones because if you use those flashlights on your tablets and phones, it damages your battery over over a amount of period of time of use. And in, if in, in a shed phantom scenario or uh, you broke down or something and you were using that flashlight on your phone, uh, and then you went to go call somebody and the phone just died. Yeah. The flashlights on the phone. My my iPad has the flashlight for some reason. Don't know why. <laughs> That's why I say in tablet. Um, um, but the flashlight kills your phone super fast. Uh, That's why I love carrying flashlights with me. And National Flashlight Day, yeah.